This video is for Stony Point High School Geometry Unit 1A, Quiz 1 Corrections over Angle Relationships. Um, and so this video is just going to go over four different angle, or sorry, six different angle vocabulary words. So the first one is the most basic, what is an angle? And an angle is um, the space in between two rays that share a vertex. So vertex is just a point. Okay, um, so here's a point, and I'm going to put off two rays from that same point. An angle is actually the space in between it. And this angle here has no measurement, so I can't say if it's a right angle, acute, obtuse, straight, so forth. All I know is that it's an angle. Now, with that in mind, here is an example of an unknown measured angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. And here's a picture of an example. Shared vertex, two rays, the space in between is measured 30 degrees. That would be acute, okay? A right angle is something that measures exactly 90 degrees, and it could be written in that this is 90 degrees, or they can use the right angle symbol, which is a little box in that corner. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees, um, but less than 180 degrees. So this angle, if I put 120 degrees, that would be an obtuse angle. The fourth or fifth type of angle, um, we did unknown, which was this top one, and then we did acute, right, and obtuse. The last one is a straight angle, and a straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees and basically is a line, um, but there's still a vertex, a point that's shared with two rays that go in opposite directions, so it's exactly 180 degrees. This is the only angle that I don't actually have to write the measurement 180 degrees for us to know. It could be completely blank, like an unknown angle, but I can physically see that it is a straight line, and so I know it is 180 degrees. Um, adjacent angles are two angles that have a common ray and vertex. Um, so an example, here is a vertex. Here's two rays, so I now have one angle. We'll call this angle one. I need a second angle that shares that vertex and one of the rays. So we're gonna use this ray as the common ray. Here's my common vertex, and I'm gonna go in a different direction. Here I have angle two. Those would be adjacent angles. Non-examples would be this angle here, angle one, and this angle here, angle two, they do share a point, but angle one's rays go top right and top left versus angle two goes to the bottom left and bottom. And so they only share a point or vertex. So those are non-examples. Another one would be two angles that just aren't connected in any way, shape, or form. Complementary and supplementary angles are very commonly uh, mixed up with each other. They are angle sets, two angles or more, that have a sum of 90 to be complementary and 180, sum of 180 to be supplementary. And an easy way to remember that is C, the letter C for complementary, comes before S, 90 degrees for complementary is less than... Um, 180 degrees. So they can be, um, for both complementary and supplementary angles, they can be non-adjacent. So I could say these two angles here measure 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Well, their sum, if I add them, is 90. Um, so those would be non-adjacent complementary. Or I could have adjacent complementary angles like this one angle A and angle B. I know that by this right angle symbol that if I add these two angles up, I'm going to get 90 degrees. Supplementary angles that are non-adjacent um, would just be two separate angles that their measurements I know by adding um, would be 100 
and 80 degrees. Adjacent uh, supplementary angles would be two angles. Here's angle A and angle B that are adjacent, meaning they share that ray and that vertex. But then their other rays, the left ray and the right ray, create a straight line, which we talked about, or straight angle, which we talked about has 180 degrees. So then a linear pair is basically what we just drew for that example of adjacent supplementary angles. They have to be adjacent, meaning they have to have that common ray and common vertex, and they have to be supplementary, meaning their rays, the other ray that they don't share, has to be 180 degrees. So this is a linear pair um, with these two angles. A vertical angles are two angles that do share vertex, but they're opposite or mirror images. So if I created this red top angle here, the, the mirror image would be down here. So angle A and angle B are vertical, or yeah, vertical angles, and because they're mirror images of each other, they are congruent, meaning that angle A's measurement is equal to angle B's measurement. Now with vertical angles, typically when you have one set, in this case A and B, you automatically have a second set. In that case, it is a left angle, angle X, and its mirror image on the right side we'll call angle Y. So angle X measurement is equal to angle Y's measurement. So remember with vertical pair, vertical angles, there's always two sets typically within a picture. We can think of it as the bottom top pair and the left right pair. Hope this helped.